Albany, you're on the air. Yeah, I need to ask Jackie a question. A Jackie question. Go ahead. Jackie, who's scheduled to play up here in Albany, I bought tickets, um, I don't know, a couple months ago. What's going on, Jackie? Where are you at, buddy? <laughs> Jackie? Jackie, have no clue. Well, wait, we're waiting to hear the answer. Right. I'm curious. This, this was a lot more than a couple months ago. I don't know, the guy... Uh... It's an hour drive, two-hour drive. I'm not talking about Why? Well, let's hear the answer. I don't know the answer. The guy canceled the show on me, and I think he told all the people that I canceled it. They told all the people that, I mean, we can't have our money back because you're still that's not sure what's going on. That's untrue. And I called the agent that booked it at least five times and told him to try and find out what happened because somebody else like you called me and told me this, too. And I have done everything I can. So what am I to do? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know, sir. Say, <laughs> hey, Jackie, you know, so, you know, this is customer service. I know. What do you mean you don't know? The guy's a fan of yours. He bought the, the ticket, ticket because of you. And, and you're going to leave him hanging? I guess I am. Tell him to call the guy he bought the tickets from. The guy? It's the box office. Sorry. What can I do? What do you mean? You booked a show there? Yes. The guy hired me to do a show, yeah. and he canceled it like a week before. He canceled what? Was the tickets not selling? He told me there were no seats sold, and then another kid called me a month later and said he thought it was sold out, that all his friends had bought tickets, blah, blah, blah. What's going on? I said, I, I have no idea. And I called the agent. I said, will you please find out what's going on? I called him a couple times. And that's it. I mean, I'm not going to say the guy's name over the phone. No, I wouldn't no. say that. But Would who you? is this? Uh, not the name, but is this a reputable agent? Is this somebody you knew? Yeah, sure it is. And it's a guy who's been in business up in Albany for a long time doing shows, and he has the comedy club. Well, I think you ought to go up to Albany and do a free show for the people. And right. There you oh, go. That's you it. And you should be the opening act. Why should I? I'm not involved. He didn't start this mess. I'm That's right. Involved. You started a mess, and i got to get involved? <laughs> but you got to make it up to your fans, your Jackie fans. That guy's sitting out there. He paid good money. He's not getting his money back. He can't wait to see your show. How, how many times do you get that kind of demand? <laughs> this really does suck because it always comes back to the the performer. The performance. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, Jackie says he doesn't know anything about it. So I'm S O L. This guy's off and uh, running with my it's money. The guy who runs the local comedy club. Sir, how much money did you pay? I don't know, ten, fifteen bucks. But it's not at a comedy club. It's at a regular. Uh, but I'm telling you, the guy that venue. I'm telling you, the guy that produced the show is the guy that owns the local comedy club. The local so, comedy club. All right, oh, all right look, look. I'm telling knows? you where to go to get your money, and you're not listening to me. All right, listen. Jackie, please. Hey. <laughs> all right, thank you. This is hey. Jackie's world. Jackie business. Jackie business. <laughs> Monkey business. <laughs> Jackie business. Jokey business. <laughs> a simple show. Watch. All it's got to be is Jackie says I'm going somewhere. The guy gets the tickets, shows up, serve a few drinks, let Jackie do his That's thing. All of his and I don't know, it's always... Somehow it got screwed up. Yeah. Well, see... Yeah. I called an agent, and the agent called, so and uh, the uh, guy told me no tickets were sold, and another guy called me and said all his friends <laughs> bought tickets, <laughs> and then the guy canceled a week before the show. <laughs> it's always a, a nightmare. <laughs> Jackie's nightmare. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know what happened after that, but uh, I can't help you, fella. <laughs> call the guy over the local comedy club. Hey, you're on your own. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> it always gets into an angry, belligerent fight. I don't want to talk to him. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him. There's no winning. I don't want to talk. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm not on trial here. I had the same conversation with another guy just like you. Right. <laughs> it's angry. Of course he's angry. It's always an angry situation. Don't be angry. That guy, he bought a ticket. He's a fan of yours. Why don't you try and work it out with the guy? Hey, I told you. You call that guy who owns the local club, and then you'll know what to do. I can't Cal, be any I'll tell you what, if you're still listening. I can't be any more clear Here's about Kelly. it. Come to the hey, treehouse. Come to the treehouse in Norwalk Friday night. I'll oh, oh so we're going to plug in some more. <laughs> Yeah, the guy from Cleveland. Oh, he's going to truck all the way down <laughs> to the treehouse. Yeah. And you know, and, then, and this guy. Uh, I called oh. the agent, and the agent didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Look, pal, I'm telling you where to get your money. Yeah, right. And it's a cryptic kind of telling. Uh, okay. Here's all I'm going to say. The guy owns a comedy club. He owns a club, so I'm telling you he where to go. The local comedy club. <laughs> Everyone's tapped into Jackie Logic. Local comedy? Yes, the local comedy 
Hey, 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 hey,
so true. I yeah. Can't they hire like a company to make those tapes? Uh, first of all, I don't know why you. I, I wouldn't hire anybody from my family to do anything for me because you know you're gonna end up yelling at me. You, right. You know, and it's family stuff. Your mother-in-law is your secretary. That's been going on for a long what? time. She's been working with us for six years. <laughs> yeah, that's going on for a long time. So what happens when she has to come to you for a raise? <laughs> she has to go to her daughter. Is that right? No, we treat her very well. Yeah. Sure. What do you pay her? She's getting the money anyway. She didn't have to join a union. <laughs> <laughs> what do you pay someone like? Your right. mom. Like your mom. <laughs> Same as you pay Ganji. Oh yeah, that little. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty insulting. <laughs> it's pretty insulting. <laughs> you can get away with paying Gangie, though, not your mother in law. Yeah, that's a grown woman. That's a, that's a woman who has to feed a family. What does she do for you? I'm staying out of this. What? Come on, what's your mother in law do for you? Seriously. No, you guys were having a great time making it up. Why don't you just keep going? Well, no, no, I'm just curious. I don't does. know what she does. She works at the uh, Off Our Rockers business office. Right, and what does she do? I mean, she sends her... out the mail order. Right. And uh, She mails stuff out. Handles the West telemarketing stuff that comes in from the 800 323 King orders. Right. And? Is that it, pretty much? Fields phone calls. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see. Huh. Well, what? <laughs> now, why are you always right. on the phone? Dude, why do you have so much aggravation? Is she not doing her job properly? Can she handle stuff? I mean, why do you, why uh, do you I seem very aggravated. Calls? You seem very aggravated, but yeah, I mean, very, very mundane kind of business things. I was thinking that you're the chief After operating the show, officer. You have to make a phone call. No, but you're the you main have, talent. You're, you're the, you're the, the you're the show, Jackie talent. Why do you show, have to? You have your uh, buddy love. You can go yeah. into a room and close <laughs> the door and make a phone call. Right. I don't have that. Liberty. I see. So I'm sitting there waiting for, you know, I have to walk out there every once in a while and see. If but you know, when he, when Howard, ear to the door. when Howard does a videotape, I don't hear him on arguing about the cost of <laughs> each not, tape. Cause no. And you've heard, heard me do this. Yes. Yeah, but it was, it's not only that. Howard talked to one person. You talked to 12 people. In the no, group. I'm saying you're the talent. Why are you John, talking? Gary had complaints that he couldn't get any calls in the office because you're on the phone uh, that's during not, the show. With no, the that's a lie. Office. That's a lie. Well, well, none of this is lies. This is all true. I, I sit there and wait for you. You know I do. For about an hour sometimes, on end, just waiting, watching you hang up. Well, what, another one. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. And, and, you know, it's like, come on, you know You're it's always the talking to yeah, the, I'm sorry. The I guy who going. runs the club, the yeah, right. guy who makes the cassette. You got to get a name. Who you again? the t-shirts. Because I know he's always yelling at some club guy. Yeah. And it's like, hey, Jackie, get an agent to do that. Night. Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand. You're asking me to show up on a Wednesday night. <laughs> Well, you can book anybody in there. Uh, I can't book Sherry Seinfeld uh, on a Wednesday night. You can't fill a club. Anybody can fill a club oh, on a Saturday. Oh, oh. You need me for a Wednesday. Right. That's why I'm so... That's why I want what I want. You know, I, I got to do this radio interview. Then I got to do this show. They don't want me to sleep. They don't care if I sleep. They don't care. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't care if you sleep? <laughs> this is the latest one. Oh, yeah? I got to do... You know, I don't want me to come on and do the radio show. <laughs> then I got to do the show. What do you I got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. What do you what do you want? Want? What? How am I going to do the show? <laughs> I haven't slept. What are we gonna do show? So, so who is he complaining to? I don't remember. You remember when you were doing some show and there was some. And, and, and who didn't want him to show. sleep? No, some affiliate. You know, wanted to have you on to promote it like at six at, six at night, but you had the show at eight and like and you, and you, and you had to drive this. So you weren't gonna get any 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 sleep before the show. You remember this? Come on. <laughs> he remembers. Of course, <laughs> he remembers. Of course, of course I, remember. I do. I'm that whole empire. Just watch it. I, I, can't we just get the camera on him so I can watch him run his empire? Can we follow you around like real world and just no. follow you around sorry, for like two days? Sorry, you can't do that. <laughs> and like go home and watch you working with your mother-in-law and stuff? I would love just to sit with him on the phone. Hi, Mom. I mean, I can't call your mom now because you're working. <laughs> Hi, Nancy's mother. What's your mother? What's your mother-in-law's name? Eileen Seidel. Eileen. Hi, Eileen. I have to call you Eileen. After hours, I'll call your mom. <laughs> <laughs> now look, you gotta start doing things right, Eileen. I'm gonna throw you the hell out of here. <laughs> I fire her on a regular. <sighs> Big company. Oh, hey, look. God bless you. You got. You seem to be happy. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everything seems to be running smoothly. What's going on with the 70-inch TV? Is that going to be hooked into uh, your whole production facility, or is that just going to be just, for fun? Just for entertainment? Yeah. 70-inch, boy, that's some screen. I ordered a big Sony TV for our living room, and it's we ordered it in September, and it hasn't come yet. So it's a drag. Hey, aren't you glad you stayed with the show, man? Look at you buying 70-inch TVs. Things are, it's nice to be able to afford stuff. Oh, it's so good. You could have gone back to being a hippie on the road in those strip clubs. Now you get things like a 70-inch TV. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. 
Who did you order it from that it takes so long to get to? Yeah, who did you order it from? Straight from Japan? Where did you get that yeah. catalog? Did you order from Japan? <laughs> you can get a lot of money off. <laughs> Pretty much. What do you mean? Who waits for a TV? For? Wait, you ordered it when? September. Mm-hmm. Who'd you order from? <laughs> Who'd you order it from? Wow. Did you order it from a, a regular company? It's nobody's business. See, he got a catalog. Right. Hey, I know there's some story hey, here. Hey, look at hey, this. Hey. I'm not going to any reputable firm. <laughs> <laughs> you ordered a 70-inch TV. What brand? Sony, he said. Sony? Sony, yeah. The new Sony 61 XBR. It's beautiful. So why can't you get it? I don't understand. Seriously, why can't you get it? What are they telling you? It just hasn't been become available yet. <laughs> they didn't make it yet. <laughs> <laughs> they ordered it. from the prototype. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you're willing to wait, they can, you know, they can reduce the price. You can save 20 bucks. I know, you haven't seen any art television. It hasn't even been made yet. <laughs> have they made them yet? Is that what's going on? I have, no, I have never seen one. <laughs> so why did you order no it? evidence. It should look real nice in the brochure. You saw a brochure and you ordered it, and now they haven't been able did to do it. Did you order it directly from the company? And we're waiting patiently. Are there no other 70-inch TVs you could have ordered? I mean, seriously. Probably. Right. Why don't you call them up and threaten them? You know you're good at that. Again? Yeah. Again. <laughs> and just say, look, I'm gonna, why don't you just order for someone else that has it in stock? Yeah. Are there no dealers? Or would I'm on it, of a course, name basis with every Sony distributor on the East Coast at this point? Yeah. Phone calls on me, and those phone calls John has heard. Does anybody have a 70-inch TV that you know? A Sony 70-inch TV? There's no evidence it exists that. except in the brochure. I see. It might be a drawing. Did you pay for it yet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. Great. That's evidence. And are there 70-inch TVs other I than Sony? 61-inch. Oh, there is a 61-inch. 61-inch XBR. Would you be willing to have one of those right now if you could get your money back and, and just just get get the 61? Or you want to hold out for the 70-inch? The, the 61 is yeah, what he got. Oh, the 61 is what he got. Yeah. There is no other 61-inch TV I around? I don't know. I see. The one I paid for it, we're waiting patiently for it. And who talked they to you? They said it might take as long as till Thanksgiving. They just didn't say which Ooh. Thanksgiving. Wow. Well, <laughs> well, that must be some TV. No, it was last Thanksgiving. They said it might take as long. Oh. Wow. Said it might not get till Thanksgiving. I said, that's all right. Well, you're a very patient man. Sure. All right, very good. That's Jackie business. A lot of people want to know what's going on with Jackie. Now you know everything. <laughs> and I'll be in Albany very soon. Good. <laughs> That wraps up our Jackie Hour. Thank you very much. I'll be contacting Elvis today. Also, uh, the Ku Klux Klan message that everyone's been waiting for. Uh, Joan Rivers stopping by. It's a very full show. Very full show. A lot of people excited. And, uh, yes, we will call Gary Marshall today and find out what he meant by this gift. Excellent. All right. We'll be back right after these words. We're back with the Howard Stern Show. And Jackie! All right, Jackie's uh, Wild Comedy CD and cassette, $10 for a $3 shipping and handling. Big Joke Land special, buy two, get one free. Jackie's mother-in-law will rush that right out to you. Call 1-800-323-KING. And Friday night, January 13th at the Treehouse Comedy Club in Norwalk, Connecticut. For filthy jokes and info, call 516-922-WINE. Remember, 516-922-WINE is not a pay service. <laughs> Could you have your mother-in-law working for you? No. <laughs> I would just give her the damn money. Well, and just say, stay home yeah. if you need it. Or go volunteer somewhere. Don't come around here no more. Hey, I'm not just going to give her the money and make her work for it. Get cracking. She <laughs> wants to do something for money. We hey. have damage control. We have big problems, Eileen. Some guy called in complaining. Find out where he lives and have him killed. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Bobby. Hey. Oh, 